And welcome back here to the launch pad for the second Falcon 9 flight in just over an hour. SpaceX comes back strong in their second return to flight of 2024. We had the return to flight last month following that second stage issue. And now we have the second flight following that landing failure. But we saw a beautiful landing on Just Read the Instructions just about 40 minutes ago. And here we are again now looking at Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, where crews are preparing to launch Falcon 9 to Booster 1081. It'll be flying on its ninth flight after previously supporting Crew 7, CRS-29, Starlink 6-34, PACE, Transporter 10, Starlink 8-1, EarthCare, NRL-186, and now Starlink 9-5. This booster was originally stationed out on the eastern space coast for its first four launches before being transferred out in March of 2024 for Transporter 10, where it has stayed out uh, for its mission. Its average reuse time is 44 days. It's on a 63-day turnaround today since its last mission, which was NRL 186, that launched back on June 28th. On board today are more Starlink V2 minis, including 13 direct-to-cell satellites and 8 normal V2 mini Starlinks heading up to low Earth orbit. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad. Here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And if you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us as we continue to count down to launch here this evening or early this morning, depending where you're at. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Looks like we need to resync our countdown clock with them there. We'll work on doing that. It is a foggy day down in Vandenberg, foggy morning, uh, but there is a Falcon 9 out on that pad, and it is fully fueled up, ready to go for today's mission. Take a moment, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. We'll do some quick shout-outs here as we count down the final two minutes. Let's also see that go-no-go no go in the chat from you guys. If you haven't become a TLP member yet, consider hitting that join button to get access to our custom TLP launcher modes. Stage 2 last load is complete. Lots of people tuning in from all over the world. It's great having you tuning in so bright and early. We got Lucy in not in the UK. MS is in Hawaii. D is saying Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Radar is in St. Louis, uh, Missouri. We got Lee in Mississippi. Ron is in the Mojave Desert in Arizona. Great to have so many of you joining in with us here this morning. Dawn is in Thailand. Stuart's in Scotland. JD Space is in Detroit, Michigan. Amy's in Michigan as well. Thanks so much for being here. T-minus 60 seconds and okay, counting. Nine is in start up. Listening for that final go for launch from the launch director. LD is go for launch. And that's what we like to hear. The launch director giving that final go for launch. T minus 36 seconds and counting till liftoff of the second Falcon 9 in under 90 minutes. 30 seconds. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off. Go Starlink, go DTC, go Falcon. And one Dean Chamber Precious Nominal. Vehicles pitching downrange. And Falcon 9 has cleared. It looks to be a slightly rainy Vandenberg Space Force Base. T plus 30 seconds into flight. First milestone on its ascent will be max Q. That's the moment of peak mechanical stress. One minute, seven seconds into flight. Power. 
current slum tree, you know, no. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there you hear that call out of Max Q. The next milestone will be the beginning of a sequence of events kicking off with Miko, main engine cutoff. That'll begin 2 minutes 25 seconds into flight, immediately being followed by first and second stage separation, MVAC engine start, also known as SES-1, grid fin deploy, and then about 30 seconds later we will see fairing deployment. Exposing those 22 Starlink V2 minis and direct-to-cell satellites to the vacuum of space for the very first time. Now as we get ready to enter the coast phase of the first stage, make sure you send in your comments and questions in the chat by taking us at the launch pad if you want us to try to answer those during that coast phase. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another SpaceX launch coverage live or any launch provider from around the world is here at TLP. We bring you full live coverage of all of them and let's just listen to that sequence of events kicking off with Miko. Main engine cut up. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you saw that sequence of events, Miko, first and second stage uh, separation, second stage engine ignition, uh, fairing deployment, grid fin deployment, all happening nominally. The first stage now coasting up to its apogee. Keep an eye on that bottom left corner of the screen. When you see that highest altitude and the speed level out, we know we've hit apogee there and it's begun its journey back down to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. The second stage continuing to burn nominally, four minutes, 10 seconds into flight, coming up to traveling 10,000 kilometers an hour, passing 133 kilometers in altitude. Now taking a look at the launch schedule coming up, a lot of unknowns on when Polaris Dawn will fly. Now that SpaceX landed a Falcon 9 on Just Read the Instructions, it's going to be probably a day or two uh, for them to get another drone ship out there to recover that booster. So that'll happen hopefully sometime this week if weather conditions prevail. We are monitoring conditions out in the Atlantic. Uh, there is a 50% chance that uh, there could be a uh, weather development, uh, hurricane or tropical storm, so that's what they're currently monitoring. We do have a flight on Tuesday, September 3rd of Vega from the French Guiana. We also are counting down to the launch of an H-2A on September 11th from Japan, a Soyuz 2.1A to the space station on September 11th as well, and the second certification flight of Vulcan currently targeting net September 16th. Later this month, we expect to see an Electron flight, a PSLV flight, another Soyuz, possibly Starship, and more. So make sure you've got those notifications turned on as the end of this year is really going to kick it off with some of the biggest rockets in the world going for test flights. And we, of course, will bring you full live coverage right here on the launch pad. Five minutes, 30 seconds into flight, waiting for that entry burn to be conducted. Entry burn, startup expected six minutes, seven seconds into flight, burning just 20 seconds tonight as the first stage begins its journey back to Earth through the Earth's atmosphere.
Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn shut down. And it looked like a good entry burn there conducted on the first stage. Keep an eye on that speed. You'll see it increase here for a few seconds before it starts to level out and decrease. Now, over the next 33 kilometers, Falcon 9 will just use the thickness of the atmosphere, Falcon 9 Stage itself and its grid fins to slow down in preparation for its landing burn on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Stage 2 FTS is saved. Stage 1 transonic. Now the second stage will continue to burn until SECO, 8 minutes 39 seconds into flight, where it'll put into initial parking orbit. It'll conduct one more burn, 53 minutes 7 seconds into flight for one second to get to a final deployment orbit ahead of Starlink deployment exactly one hour into flight. Let's listen for the call out of landing burn as he SpaceX attempt to land the Falcon 9 Stage for the second burn. time since that landing failure and for the second time here tonight. Stage 2 terminal guidance. Stage 1 landing light deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And a great landing there. The second stage now continuing to seek O1, waiting for that confirmation. And hopefully visual as view as well. And there we have Seco okay, one. Second stage is now in its parking orbit. That's going to do it for our live launch coverage of Starlink 9-5. SpaceX will update on their social medias for both flights that are currently in progress of taking Starlinks to orbit. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage. And from our brand new TLP Space Coast HQ and Studio, my name's Zach, and we'll see you next time because space is better together. Now let's all go get some sleep.